Hi guys, I'm Kavanaya and you're watching Kavita Vibia. So in my today's vlog, it's gonna be really amazing and we are gonna chill out with lots of birds. So we are here at Jurang Birds Park. Let's go in. Over here, there is the largest man-made waterfall inside this place, which is known as Waterfall Aviary. So let's go and see the waterfall now. So on our way to the waterfall, I see some ancient vessels which people use in those times. I mean, very old times in the 19th and something. So these are different kinds of vessels and it's set up in such a good way like a roof and those pillars. It looks really lively. This waterfall is a 100 meter tall waterfall. So this one is one of the largest man -made waterfall in Singapore and this is inside the birds park. So let's go and see how it looks. Okay, now we came inside. Look at the place. Oh my god. It is so, so beautiful. Can't even believe it's man made. It's so lively. It looks like a forest. I can see the waterfall from here, and we can also go up the bridge and take a look at everything. So let's go in. This way. There is such a stinky fishery smell here, but still uh, it's beautiful. I see white and light pink flamingos. So in this pond, I can see the rosy spoonbill. Spoonbill is kind of a bird because its beak is like a spoon. So it named the spoon like bill came together as rosette spoonbill. This place also has a lot of varieties of birds flying over here and there in very live atmosphere. And look at the top over there, you can find a lot of birds sitting on the branch of the trees. Oh, I can also see some mandarin ducks, the brown color ones over there. Our waterfall is 35 meters from here. So let's go. Oh, mandarin ducks are here too. <laughs> Where are they coming from? Guys, are you ready to take a look at the waterfall? Yes! So this one is 100 meter tall and it is man-made. Can't even believe it. Look at the rocks and the background. It's the exact look in the natural waterfall, but it is man-made. So you may wonder how much of hard work would have taken to complete this waterfall and look at the downstairs as well. You have some normal kind of waterfalls coming down also. So this one is so, so huge and gigantic. It's quite impressive to see. In my previous vlog, we saw a lot of manual waterfalls, right? One in the cloud forest, the gigantic waterfall and another one in the jewel, the waterfall, which is, was in the airport. And this one is also another man-made waterfall. This one doesn't even look like a man-made. The other one I could just believe it was, but this one looks like the ones you find in the Amazon rivers, you know. Because of the gigantic rocks behind it and everything is like so natural. This place is a bit cool and humid because of the waterfall and uh, it's, it has like a free top on the open so it's a bit windy.
Ah, In this place, the birds are given training for all the shows and stuff. So everything is just let free, and everything is just roaming around here and there. It's a really fun adventure over here. Rather than putting them in the cage, if you put it outside, it's really you know you can see and uh, take a look at them clearly and know more about them. So it's really fun over here. This waterfall, I mean, the entire Jurong Road Park is set up in a hill which is in Jurong East. So this part is also a waterfall coming down to the Jurong Hill. It's actually a man-made one but still it's done. So guys, I told you, flamingos are the best over here and here they separately have a lake for flamingo filled with lot of beautiful and colourful pink coloured flamingos over there. Everything is just standing in a flock of birds right there and they have a small fountain going on. And this site is really beautiful. Oh, look at the way they're running together. It's so beautiful to look at that. The colour is so so good the light pink and the peach is so vibrant i hope you can hear the noise they're making it's a kind of unique kind of sound they're making and next is pelican cove look at all the pelicans over there we saw a few in the uh, show i guess yeah but they have a lot of varieties of pelicans and some are lying on the water and others are just on the bank and even though they also have a fountain over here few of them are really huge in size I mean the white one over there is so so huge and others are just the normal average size their beaks are so so long I mean oh my god this one is catching a fish You know, when something is together, we name it as a flock or something. A group of pelican is known as squandrum. So over here, you have Australian pelican, Dalmantanian pelican, great white pelican, spot-billed pelican and pink-backed pelican. 
दाट वहर से जल में ठेले पे निकाय While flying, this pelican flies in a V shape to save its energy. So everything has a unique, unique feature, you know. So guys today was a very exhausting tiring and as well as an amazing and colorful day so i'm going to end my day with this bright lemon because i'm really tired i hope you like this video if you do so please do like comment share and subscribe and do tell your feedback in the comment box below see you in my next video until then